Hi, I'm Dr. Dennis Gross, New York City dermatologist and skincare expert. I've been treating acne for many years, but now I'm seeing many, many more cases than ever before. This problem is so big, so real, I'm calling it an acne epidemic. And I see how terrible acne can be for those who suffer from it. This is a major annoyance to some, and to others, it's much more than that. It can be devastating. And this is true for men and women equally. The question is, why are so many people suffering from acne? Why are there so many more people with complexions issues? Well, let's start with what causes acne in the first place. The answer is a clogged pore. Think of a pore as an opening in the skin that brings oil to the surface. When those pores get clogged and blocked, that causes acne. Now that you understand that, there are two important things you need to know as well. First, clogged pores are the cause of all forms of acne, like blackheads, whiteheads, pimples, and cysts. And secondly, clogged pores cause acne regardless whether your skin type is oily or dry or sensitive or combination. And now that you know that, there are three forms of acne that I'm going to explain. T-zone acne, hormonal acne, and acne caused by bad products that contain ingredients that clog your pores, and I call this type of acne product acne. This is a photo of T-zone acne that is located across the forehead and down the middle of the face. I mentioned that all acne begins with a clogged pore. Now, there are many more pores in the T-zone than anywhere else on the face, and it's those pores that get blocked. Those who suffer from T-zone acne experience blackheads and whiteheads and pimples and cysts in this location. This is hormonal acne. I'm sure you've heard of this one. This occurs in a very specific part of the face. Blemishes appear on the jawline, on the chin, and in the lower part of the face. Now, hormonal acne is caused by events that change the chemistry of hormone levels in the bloodstream, and they do it in a major way and quickly, like having a baby, stopping the use of birth control pills, nursing a newborn, and most importantly, during the menstrual cycle. But why are so many more people experiencing breakouts than ever before, like I'm seeing in my New York City office? I mean, after all, T-zone acne and hormonal acne have been around forever, so what's changed? I think the answer is that there are more people using beauty products and makeup that contain pore clogging ingredients, which cause a new type of acne called product acne, and it's that which is causing the acne epidemic. Blemishes caused from acne producing ingredients look like this. Acne is seen on any and all areas of the face. Now, product acne can look just like a bad case of adult acne, and it's as if the breakouts bounce around, causing acne anywhere and everywhere you have applied that acne-causing ingredient. Now, more than ever, you need to know what ingredients can cause acne, and unfortunately, there are many of them, but I am here to help you with this. One thing is for sure, always use oil-free products if you have acne-prone skin. But if you're interested to know what other specific ingredients could be causing your blemishes, you can receive the full list under the acne section of my website, drdennisgross.com. And if you want to receive my personal recommendations for products that will clear your acne, or if you want, send me a photo of your problem. I will review it and I will get back to you with help. Just email me at askthedoctor at dgskincare.com. I hope you found this useful, and I, I always say to people, the more you know, the better your skin will look, and I'm here to help each of you learn more. I'll see you on my next video.